Uh, when you started your own firm, how did you end up getting your first clients? It was on Justia or Ju, whatever you pronounce it, mm -hmm. Justia. Um, that's where I found my first client. But well, actually, no. Let me retract that. I found my first client when I was registering my business in line at the tax office. Um, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> The guy like in front of me or behind me was registering his uh, his uh, DBA because uh, his business was 10 years old and he needed a naturalize. So I was, <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. I was able to convert <laughs> someone into a client right away. Nice. Uh, what kind of case was it? It was naturalization. Okay. So, <laughs> so Justy was good i mean everyone should have a profile on there because the profile is free and they have a paid version of it too which is hit and miss uh but what was like the the big thing that got your your the ball rolling for you well i think when i learned about google adwords um the following spring and i sort of finagled how to figure those out i think that <laughs> really helped uh i mean now i feel like you have to have a phd in them uh yeah. google adwords you know, but back back in like two, 2010, um, I sort of figured it out and um, that sort of catapulted me on another level. I mean, I was extremely jealous of everybody who said they didn't advertise because they had such good word of mouth. I was like, well, what what does a person do who just starts the firm? You know, like, you know, yeah. I just showed up to the party. You know, it's like, how are they supposed to find me? Um, so it's I an was, annoying thing that because you know, on Facebook, people say, how do I start? And they're like, it's all word yeah. of mouth. It's, it's, it's not a fair response because everyone has to start somewhere. And if you started 20 years ago, like it was a different environment than it is now. So it's. It's, well, yeah, it's and I think now that my firm's 14 years old, practicing 15 years total, like you have to have a steady stream of, of cultivating the re repeat business and word of mouth. And then you have to, you have to also be out there looking for, for new business or else it could dry up, you know? Yeah. And so you, you need, depending on what your growth, uh, you know, structure and goals are. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it was a combination of just telling everybody, being on all those directories, answering tons of questions on Avo, you know, because that was really hot back in 2009. And I remember um, it, it's, it's all really like, I remember when I started my for yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Avo so thing was just like, he was just all day obsessing over answering questions to get attention. Right. It was a lot of hustle. Um, and it's still hustling, you know, because yeah. they change algorithms and the systems can change. And then there's, you know, something can go viral. So, you, <laughs> but you have to, you have to be out there in all different places, depending on who you're trying to attract. So. Yeah.